Good afternoon, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And we welcome you to our midday meditation on the Gospels. Today we're in Luke 24, verses 44 through 53. Tyler. Then he said to them, These are the words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that all things may, must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms concerning me. And he opened their understanding that they might comprehend the scriptures. Then he said to them, Thus it is written, and thus it was necessary for the Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day. And that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And you are witnesses of these things. Behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you have endued, until you are endued with power from on high. And he led them out as far as Bethany, and he lifted up his hands and blessed them. Now it came to pass while he blessed them that he was parted from them and carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and were continued continually in the temple praising and blessing god amen amen all right so um a few things here the things that are in moses the prophets and the psalms this is jesus endorsement of the old testament in its entirety uh, the jewish or the hebrew old testament the way it was structured you had the torah then you had what was generically called the writings or the Psalms. That was the, uh, for lack of a better word, the poetical um, and some of the, the historical literature. And then you had the prophets. Those, those were the three divisions. Um, and so what Jesus says here does place that everything in the Old Testament, directly or indirectly, is tying to him. Specifically, he, he drew out the scriptures in those sections and explained their fulfillment in him to the apostles. Um, the goal, the purpose of all of the Old Testament the whole purpose of the ministry of Jesus was to bring us to the place where repentance and remission of sins could be preached in his name to all the nations of the earth. And this is a fulfilling of the promise in Genesis 12, 1 through 3, that through Abraham, all the nations of the earth should be blessed. Well, Jesus Christ is that seed of Abraham through whom all the nations of the earth are blessed. That includes the Jewish nation. Abraham was not a Jew. Abraham was not an Israelite. At best, you can say Abraham was a Hebrew. And you say, no, brother, don't say that. God's got something special for the Jews. Yeah. You should change your saying and say God has something special for the Gentiles. He lets the Gentiles come into the kingdom of God the same way he did the Jews. The same repentance and remission of sins that was available to the Jews is available to us Gentiles. There's not a plan for Gentiles and a separate plan for Jews. No, there's one plan for everyone. And Jesus says that. The same message for all the nations that started on the day of Pentecost. And Peter said what in Acts 2.38? Do you remember, Tyler? Peter replied, repent and be baptized for every one of you for the remission of your sins. For the remission of your sins. So wait a second. He said what? Repent? Mm -hmm. and, and be baptized. For the remission of your sins. And what city were they in? Jerusalem. Yeah, Acts chapter 2, 1 through 4. When the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. Well, Acts chapter 1 tells us they went in Jerusalem and they spent nine days in prayer, waiting for the power of the Holy Ghost to come on them to proclaim the word. Which is exactly what Jesus says here, that they were supposed to do. They were supposed to wait in Jerusalem till they received power so that they could proclaim repentance and remission of sins in his name jesus was a jew. jew peter and all the apostles were also jews mary and the women were still jews and the entire crowd on the day of pentecost who was there for the pentecost celebrations 50 days after the passover were all jews and so repent 
and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. That's how Jews get saved. Because it was Jews preaching about a resurrected Jew to an entire audience of Jews with the message that Jesus here said would be preached in his name. Baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. It's the only way to be saved, y'all. It's the only way to come into the kingdom. It was that way for Jews then. It's that way for Jews now. There's not a separate plan. That was the plan given by a Jew to his Jewish apostles, preached to a Jewish audience in a Jewish temple, in a Jewish capital city, on a Jewish high festival day. The very first message preached ever about Jesus as the resurrected Christ and Lord. And he just happens to be gracious enough to let that be the message that goes to all nations, not just Israel. But that's how we all get saved. And it starts in Luke 24, and it finds its fulfillment in Acts 1 and 2. Anything else you want to add? No, sir. Brian Reagan, this is... Pilot Kelly. We bid you good afternoon.